Well, congratulations, Naomi, on an amazing career and being recognised tonight as an all-star legend. How does that feel? It was so funny because when you when you were kind of doing the whole, you know, 21 years ago or, you know, 2001, I was, I was in 2001. You know, and then it doesn't really occur to you until I go, hang on a minute. And then when you said experiences, I go, there was not many others around at that time. <laughs> and so, so no, it's really, um, it's actually quite strange such a journey and to see how sophisticated uh, the industry has come and it's such an industry that's a melding of creativity but analytics and if you you need to make informed decisions so you need those insights and as I said tonight you just can't ask all of your customers individually what do they think <laughs> you know so we need to know we need better data and can you take us back to 2001 you know the thinking that led into it and uh, what your inspiration was at the time can you remember back then and yeah yeah I did can. it turn out the way you expected oh that because it was a longer harder journey than I thought it was going to be but you know if you cast yourself cast your mind back to 2001 there was no such thing as social media digital technology you no know when iPhones. you no iPhones yep. no in fact um, even gateways like we were often just taking faxes and processing credit cards through a terminal you know um, it, and none of these things were around so it, it was such a different world and you had to build it. There was no buying. Like when I look at all of the partners that have lined up here and are supporting of this event, I know why they're here because the notion that you can get an off the shelf product and then customize it, honestly, these guys have it so easy. They don't know what it was really like. And like it literally was like that, you know. I remember I had a developer who was my next door neighbor and He'd, I'd say, you know, we need this feature or we need this something and he'd, he'd tinker away and then he'd go, ah, it worked, you know. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> just, you know, it was really like that. It was very fly-by night and yeah. that sort of thing. I was around as a customer during those early days and I remember um, we would buy staff gifts from Red Balloon and it was amazing now to look back on that and think I would, could actually call up, you know, because maybe the website wasn't perfect or we wanted something customised but call up and, and end up speaking to you and, oh, no. and, and getting it done and it would arrive in these beautiful red yeah. boxes and, and things like that. And one thing I've always observed about you is um, you know, your consistent devotion to the customer. You, you put them at the centre of everything. I know people pay lip service to that but you've done that. Um, you know, how important was that in, in growing Red Balloon? Well it's one of the reasons why I started coming to events and speaking and was because I'm, when you're running a website, you don't get to meet people. Yep. And I went to see Janine Alice years ago before we did the show, and I said to her, oh, you know, it's easy for you. You can just go and make a smoothie and wander around a thing and see people, you know, drinking from the green tap. And you can feel your customer. I can't feel my customer. And so that's why I started coming out and meeting uh, people. I've actually never been the face of the brand, and people get that confused because they kind of go, oh, there's the woman in the red, you know, it must be Naomi, and all of that. But no, I've never actually aligned who I am, but I think it was important to give some level of authority that was run by real people, real Australians, really doing things and to. So, no, I've, I've never actually been the face of the brand, which is kind of funny. So, final bit of advice for the remaining pioneers out there who want to give e-commerce a crack? Oh, look, I think you, um, I think there is still plenty of opportunity, yep. um, and especially in niche, um, the world is very interested in sustainability. I was really glad to see the uh, sustainability award and the intention that this industry has towards that. I think it's very important. And I think any business that isn't looking at um, their contribution to community uh, is quite short-sighted. So as a result of that, you know, disruption comes because people don't see it coming. Right. It is bad customer service that causes disruption, not technology. So stay close to customers, yep. and that represents an opportunity for those who aren't. Fantastic. Thanks, ma'am. Oh, so, so proud of my award. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.